because it adds a certain dynamic to it. And you have to consider too, like the Eternal Guard alone is actually quite annoying to deal with, right? Yep. For a lot of these teams, especially when it comes to these objectives. So like you've got like a mini Lord to help you out. So with all that saying, we are going to be jumping into the Land of Dawn. Once again, game number one here, second match of the day, Deus Vault versus Homeboys into the playoffs for games of the future. One of the teams has to go home and it starts here in game number one, already getting the flick around from Udil. Yeah, and kind of kind of just doing maybe some like focusing on some win conditions here for both sides, right? Homeboys, I like their 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 approach. Like if if they can't if they can't CC enough for the on the side of Deuce Bolts, they're they can they can just bring all the aggression that they possibly can to the playing field. And I if they're able to capitalize on that and use their aggression to their advantage, I think Deuce Vaults could be at a little bit of a trouble, but I think, again, Deuce Vaults has the the safer uh, team comp, right? Like, they're, they're, they're thicker, they're, they're just <laughs> overall, you know, harder to kill, uh, and they have the anti-CC, so I think Deuce Vaults has the better team fight, but I think Homeboys has the better advantage to uh, control the map. Oh, um, yeah, so, uh, I, I think I'm solo right now, Naisu. I don't think you're on here, by the way. Yeah, yep, yep. Uh, kind of just talking about what's going on in this game. We can already see that Homeboy is able to secure the first blood onto Solo. Huge plays by Homeboys at this point. Um, definitely interesting takes from both sides. And we can kind of see that Deuce Vault's going to clap back. Magister able to take out Zorn at this point. And now going to be invading on the side of Homeboys. This is a good take. Oh my god, what a torn apart memories on the Chibi there. Securing the kill again. Deuce Vault's just super aggressive. Wow. All right, I just came back from a journey again, my own time journey. <laughs> And uh, I come back right to the shot to the face. Good setups there. Uh, with that, how they're going to go ahead and play around that. Two kills already for Deus Vault. Tempo is pretty much what we're going to be talking about. Already flickering out to Udil once again. That Eternal Guard there, going to chase him down, keeping him from going back to base a little bit longer. Still in the bottom lane, though. Look at the focus there. They're going to land the Requiem, and Kid Bomba gets taken down bottom side. A lot of cross map action play happening. Yeah, I mean, it, the aggression from both sides have been great. Does look like Deuce Vaults is definitely controlling a little bit more of the map and a little bit of that uh, economic uh, lead as well. Great flicker utilized or bait out by the side of uh, Deuce Vaults. Magister yeah. controlling the map with this Brats at this point. Um, again, still 2 2. So, ah. Man, what, what is your take? They, it looks like they're about to possibly maybe gank the top lane, and I think that is where they need to uh, start targeting. I, I think, uh, again, Deus Vault having this bit of a lead that they have, G, is, is great. They can work around it. Uh, kills went into... The fact, too, that Hiko was able to grab one of those early ones will help him scale up pretty well. I mean, that's what Brody does best um, as he's he already picked up his first big item. You know, he's got the blade. Now the turtle's just seconds away from spawning here. You're going to see both teams kind of hold off, wait for it, get in position the best they can. Magister there has quite a few stacks as well. Turtle comes up. And we'll see, right? If We'll see if the finesse from Chibi can be pulled <laughs> off here. That's kind of what has to happen. Jump in, going through. Not going to find the connection, though. Turtle's going to go ahead and reset for now, though. Zorn taking some poke damage, though, from Kid Bomba. Goes in, step out, trying to keep him at base. Still going to be fighting for him. Jumping in. There's the Eternal Guard. Meanwhile, Turtle's still going to be worked on as well. Bottom lane gets the action. There's the pop-up. Turtle goes over to Chibi, though. And now still going to be working on it. Magister on the run. Kid Bomba there. Nobody falls, but the objective is secured. Yeah, it, but while all of that is going down, look at that top side. The pressure by Hiko oh. there. And then, oh, that's. Oh my God. Hiko does it again. G. 
Oh my god. You know, Hiko's name's almost like Iko, but spelled with an H, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. The torn apart memory is just decimating homeboys at this point. We can kind of take a look at some items, and I think the biggest pickup that we're seeing is the, the Blade of Hep there for the side of Hiko is just dominating. And I think that's where the economic lead is coming from. The lane swap's already happening, and I think that's going to be a hard fight for CPAD at this, as well as you can see Sao constantly with him, but a response here by homeboys. Yep, and right now, pressure on this bottom side but good rotations all around for the most part. Hiko now also picking up the Malifka Roar. Hold on, Magister gonna get set up here. Multiple members gonna focus him down. Can't get away just yet. One Yo. hit though, and he gets away with Sliver of Health. What a play. Great job there from Sunset Lover to be there for him. Yeah, and I, I, that's just the amount of CC that Deuce Bolts has. And it, it's not a lot, but it's enough that allowed Magister to escape. And we can kind of see that is what Homeboys is lacking. They have a decent amount of damage, but I think that they have to rely on Zorn, right? Utilizing uh, that Violet Requiem is going to be the make it or break it. And they use that to secure the turtle. So building upon that, Homeboys has to keep that up. Oh. Keep that pressure up. Wow. Oh, my God. To pot with the damage. Hiko gonna be in trouble. Nice land from Zorn there. Able to get the kill under the turret. Another one falling for Deus Vault. Homeboys clapping back here and now setting themselves up here for this turtle. Sunset Lover and Magister here. Down two members though. They're gonna want to stall this out the best they can. Homeboys though just looking for more. Sao gonna fall as well alongside the turret. And Homeboys making some decisive maneuvers here currently sunset lover magister still trying to hold it down not sure if they actually want to commit to this just let it go we'll see if they decide to do that homeboy still in position gonna go ahead and work on that lith wanderer as well get that if they can hiko now part of the support look at the positioning he might look for his own entry point Day is full. They're going to be going. Sapat goes in, jumps in, right on Sunset Lover. There's the Eternal Guard, though. Turtle taken by Chibi once again. Time Journey has to go through. Sapat is taken down by Hiko, but Zorn will find the Requiem into the Spatial Migration. Out of there he goes. The one for one trade still working for it. Zorn on the run. Won't be able to catch him, though. Deus Volt trying to fight back. What engages right there? That is probably the longest turtle fight into a, an initial fight that we've ever seen here. And again, Deuce Vault's still leading though. And I think that comes down to that it seems like Homeboys is so aggressive. Look at Zorn here though. Oh Ow. man. Okay. You can re The damage is intense, right? And they gotta kind of <laughs> keep it a check. Homeboys, though, the fact that they were able to even out the gold for the most part with those plays that they just made is great, right? Considering how the early game Huge. went and there was some some really good scaling for Hiko, well, now that's not the case here, G. No, I mean, and that, that goes to show that homeboys really have to rely on Zorn. And I think also not only that, that homeboys are really utilizing the map to their advantage. It is like a chess play at this point. We are seeing so many of homeboys just patiently waiting in a bush and taking advantage when they can. Now, yep. from the side of Deuce Vaults, they have to figure it like they see that. They're, they're getting caught off guard left, right, up, down. They got to keep that <laughs> in check and i think that comes into play that when the mid game approaches here homeboys might have a little bit of the advantage um but also deuce faults right they're they're going to be coming online i think they're going to get more defensive so the the bursting that homeboys has right now could fall off into the late game uh so i think right now deuce faults both teams are 50 50. Hmm, so with that, again, oh hold on, top lane again. Gonna be able to find the knock up here. Kid Bomba gonna be in trouble here. One more hit away, gets the regen though. Can he land a shot? Udil looking for it, but not gonna be able to connect anything here. Lord's now up though. 
Both teams going to be working on it. Eternal Guard oh. coming down, crashing down, gets the flicker. Zorn still on the fight back for Sunset Lover. Meanwhile, Deus Vault working on this Lord. Sabat goes in. Chibi trying to get the turn. Oh. He gets the Lord. Takes it from under their noses. And with that, Deus Vault strikes some kills, but they lose the Lord to homeboys. Yeah, and I, one of the key plays to point out there is that Magister tried to utilize the Dayto Daytona Welcome on to uh, uh, Chibi, but missed. And Chibi was able to dash in and secure the Lord of oh. Violet. Again, Zorn right there. Sunset Lover going to be in trouble now. Kid Bomba once again alongside Magister. Still a couple hits away. Couple shots. Net's going to be able to grab it. Still working for it. Two down. Deus Volt. Resources for the taking. Lord on the top side. Homeboys are looking to make the play. Yeah, and I mean, there's two down on Deuce Vault. Full Lord kind of barreling down. I think homeboys at this point are going to be... This is a good Lord for them. Allows even more breathing room. And the 50-50 now leaning into the favor of homeboys. They're able to utilize this Lord to clean up the map and essentially take out a lot of the towers. And uh, Deuce Vault's going to have a hard time now, right? Because they're not going to have the, the escapability that homeboys has. Uh, and it's just... It's crazy to see the homeboys' aggression. They're they're just breaking apart Deuce Volt's uh, just tactical plays here, and yeah. I think they're they're taking advantage of the mistakes that Deuce Volt's are making. It's great too because for homeboys, they they were able to get this lead that they needed. They have the space to work around with. Deus Volt, though, they have to be able to find their own pickoffs, right? They have to be able to utilize what they've right done here. so far, and they could be doing it right here. Daytona's welcome into the wall, into the Eternal Guard. Udil's out of the picture. They get the flicker out from the rest of the team. Still working on it, though. Mid turret, though, as well. Good BMI on the defensive earlier. Now, Time's Journey going to be taken out. Setbot gets the kill on Sao. He goes for more into the blazing duet. Nets chasing him down, trying to get the kill. He gets it on Sunset Lover. Still going for more. They have to respect the damage from Deus Vault. But what a battle here in the mid lane. Yeah, and look, they're about to get Bomba in a little bit of trouble. Oh. Still going to be in trouble. Kid Bomba regens it back. Gets the kill. But look at the mid lane. He goes the one to fall. Sapat again is insane on this Lapu Lapu. Tanks some damage. Eventually goes down. Double for Kid Bomba. <laughs> Both teams are just like, it's like a rock'em sock'em robot match at this point. One goes <laughs> down, two goes down, three goes down, and then they just, they can, can consistently keep up the battle. And again, I think that's the 50-50 mark, and it's just tenacity on both sides. Um, it, it could be any anybody's game at this point. We are seeing Deuce Folds kind of coming online now. Their damage is starting to scale up into this mid-game, and just the burst that homeboys brought into the early stage isn't there we can kind of take a look at some items we do see claude look at this almost has everything built already so i feel like that's going to be a key factor oh. there oh oh my the back door the back door they're going for it this is exactly what i was talking about the nothing but nets play but he's also alongside one more as they push into the base they have to deal with the deus vault they can't even commit to this board right now. The pressure's too much. Do they want to fight for this? Sunset Lover picking up the Divine Glade in the midst of the fight. Lord's going to reset, though. The pressure already put on. Homeboys are regrouping here. Still working on it. Holding the Lord under that half health mark. One fourth. Still going. Sephot's going to be jumping in. Detona's welcome to the wall. Will get taken out. Now still going to be out and out. Chibi gets the Lord. Oh, it all breaks through. Hiko trying with the torn apart memory. Udil still able to survive. Look at the shots though. The damage from Novaria. Able to get two down of Davis Vault. They lose the Lord as well. They're on the defense once again. I got to say, right now, Homeboy's Retry game is on point right it's just homeboys they're 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 securing a lot of the neutral objectives second lord going into their favor deuce volts has to respond to this you know in the beginning i i suspected that deuce volts comp was a little bit better but it goes to show that homeboys is just bringing that aggression left and right lord now barreling down full hp on the left side can they mount up a defense here i don't think homeboys can take it here but we'll see We'll see. They're going to have to deal with this. 
Lord making quick work of it. So still holding on the best they can. Right now, homeboys, though, waiting for the next They're waves looking. to push in. They want to get this mid and bottom turret down. Poke damage is going to be there. Still holding it together. Eternal Guard also playing that front side. And right now, Dave's fault, keeping these two turrets in the base. That it's good. This is the defense that Deuce Volts needs. And I think they're they're essentially going back to the drawing board in game at this point. They need to to find and take control of the map. The river control is gonna be a key factor here. You were stating it earlier, Naisu, is that I think that they really need to get a pick, right? And a key pick as Nets is zero or two, zero, and four hasn't been stopped just yet. And I feel like that is the winning factor for homeboys. Now, also the Bratz is having a hard time getting his stacks. Look at the little dino on the field. He is just so tiny. <laughs> and I think that's kind of playing into a factor on the Deuce Volts is that not having their jungle, not having control of the map is being, it, it's rough. It's rough. And uh, that's why we were talking about in the draft here, G. The tempo that was going to be set, you know, and for, for that early game, Deuce Volt did have that little bit of lead. And homeboy Ooh. is able, wow, look at the Nets playing uh, very risky here, but we'll be fine. But again, tempo, and like you said, Chibi's been on point with a lot of those retributions so far. Yeah, controlling it. Zorn, this is what we were talking about as well. The roam potential here. He's going to get spotted out with Kimbomba. Not sure if they actually just want to continue to commit. They don't. He's back to safety. All this, the push and pull, 30 seconds away from the Lord. Yeah, and again, I mean, we can kind of look at Claude full build, Brody missing one item, but almost at a, the damage point. Now, the the biggest difference is that we we are seeing both have uh, Wind of Nature's already secured, um, and Homeboy's controlling the map again. I think this is the hardest part that Deuce Vault is fighting against is that they're just they're trying to take what they can but if they walk into a bad position it could make it or break it for them homeboys are trying to trap them into that and you can already see here yeah right now once again fight for the lord half health here both teams waiting patiently chibi on point for the majority of the game it's gonna kind of reset nothing just yet soft reset for now still pulls it out of the pit Deus vault has to be careful how they approach it. Look at the pressure, though, already in the mid lane. Zorn gonna find the knockup on Kid Bomba. Takes a couple shots. Nets has to back off, though. Sunset Lever on the hunt! Ooh. Does have the immortality. It's gonna get popped here. They have to fight this out. Still gonna be going. Look at the damage, though. Chibi comes through, finds the execution, gets the double on Hiko, finds more. Still working. Sunset Lever is gonna be down. Three down so far. Looking for the fourth. Kid Bomba gets the kill, but another member on the run. Still looking. Chibi, finesse. Looking for Kid Bomba, one he hit away, the but the shot from Udil, and that will make oh it for God. homeboys as they take game one. 